I recently called my grandmother to talk about family traditions. I want to know more about my family and what makes us different from other families. I also wanted to know more about our family's history. So who better to call than my sweet grandmother? She's the oldest living relative and the only pit grandparent I have left. Her name is Alice Maynard and she is 89. I was always the one of my siblings who was interested in family history. Every time I would see grandma or grandpa, I would always ask them to tell me stories about when they were growing up. My favorite story was when grandpa would tell me about being in World War II. He and all the other soldiers were in line naked for a shower and there was a group of giggling German girls hiding behind a bush watching them. When I asked my grandmother about her family traditions during the phone conversation, all she said came to mind was Easter breakfast. She said that her family would bake a special kind of bread from Germany. I had to coax her to get more information by asking more specific questions. So I asked her about family being from Germany and what traditions came from that. She answered by telling me the, about yodeling and polka dancing. My mother was a great singer and dancer, she said. Then I asked about the traditions that came with the names in the family. None of her siblings or her parents' siblings had middle names. This, she explained, is because there was too many of them and the parents couldn't think of two names for all of them. Your father and uncle both have family names. Your dad is named after his grandfather on his dad's side and your uncle's named after his great-grandfather. I asked her if traditions changed after having my dad and uncle. She said she moved into a bigger house and my grandfather got a better job. She said as far as traditions, they, they would go to Chicago for Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving to visit my grandpa's family and have a big meal. I asked about church and if she would consider that a family tradition. I think she was excited I brought it up because she knows I was raised without a religion. She said that she would very much consider it a tradition we ended up conversing about religion. Okay, Grandma, I have to go. I love you big. Love you too, she said. I feel our family has many traditions. They may be as small as saying love you big at the end of every phone conversation or at the end of a visit. They also include a kiss on the mouth every time we see a family member and every time we leave. Our family traditions include a yearly trip to the lake house every summer and spending every Christmas together. They include birthday cards in the mail with a $25 check from Grandma and Grandpa. They include trips to Mexico in the fall and spring. We have traditions in the way we clean our house and cook and fo our food and eat our food. My favorite tradition will always be saying how much we love each other. Love you big.